Hallelujah. Okay, welcome guys. So uh, this week, my yin yoga class's theme is balance. So we're going to find postures that will help with the legs and feet, as well as postures that have symmetry. So we're looking at postures like butterfly or dragonfly and other ones that have two sides, like squat, for example. Um, so you might find it helpful to, uh, to have a couple of standard pillows nearby. We'll be using one or two of them. Um, I have a little foam here. If you have something like a small pillow, you might find that helpful too. I also like to use a foam um, simply because it's very dense and it's really quite nice for the knees uh, where we're gonna be exploring uh, toe squat at some point. Um, a scarf, a winter scarf to uh, cover the eyes at end of Shavasana and maybe a blanket to go with um, if you get um, if you need a nice layer of uh, warmth over your body, you might want uh, a blanket or even extra cushioning under a knee or under your arms, okay? So the first posture that we're going to explore is butterfly. And butterfly can be explored in two ways. One, you can be seated. So you can sit on the cushion or the foam and you can grab your pillows out in front. I'm just gonna show you what my feet look like here. So as I'm sitting on like a little bit of a lift under my bum, bring the soles of me, my feet together and I find a little lift of my chest. So you're going to sit nice and deep in that seat and then start to lean forward until you feel like, okay, this is where I feel it and bring your arms ahead. Now this is where the pillows come in handy. You can begin to stack them onto your feet to the point where maybe your arms start to sink into those pillows. You might even fold it so that they're up a little higher, okay? And then from here, you can let your chin start to round and maybe even catch your head with your hands, or you can even stack your fists underneath the forehead. That's version one of the butterfly, the seated version. Now, if you have any issues with discs, um, issues in your back, you might wanna find the reclined version. Now the reclined version, you don't need to sit on anything. You simply bring the soles of your feet together, these two pillows on either side. You lift your bum up, tuck your tail, and then slowly lower down. You might actually want something under your head, so that pillow might be under the head. Once you're on your back, then these pillows land on either side, and you wanna feel a nice stretch in the groin. Again, your head could be on a pillow, and you'll feel a nice stretch in the groin, all right? It feels like a little sticky in one side. You could always join the knees together, maybe adjust the distance of your feet and then enter it again. Again, find which version serves you best and we're gonna stay in it for about five minutes in total. So once you've found your version, whatever that might be with the soles of your feet together, begin to land and begin to feel your body arrive in it. Now send breath into your entire back. And then side out, just let the jaw be very soft. And notice that if you want to peel away any layers of, uh, of the, the pillows, then you can always shift it a little bit as your body sinks a little further. You might even remove them all together. Even if you're on your back, you can shift those pillows off to the side so you feel it nice and st uh, stretched out in the groin. Now gravity will start to do the work here. A lot of dull, achy stretch happening. Make sure it's where you feel comfort and some discomfort. You don't want to feel any pain, any sharp pains anywhere. It's just a dull, achy stretch. Now return to the breath, breathing into that sensation. 
of the doll if you stretch. Nice smooth breath in and smooth breath out. Notice the symmetry in your body. The left side and the right side are just a little bit different. There's no such thing as complete and perfect symmetry in the body. There's always one side that's a little bit different, but notice that you can come to a place where there's a place to arrive and center between those two different spots in your body, those spaces in between. Those you can start to bring equilibrium to and send breath there. So you can send breath there and into any tight spots. You might feel some holding. And with each exhale, feel that holding start to dissolve. Taking time here with that sensation, with your breath, butterfly. Always give your body permission to come out of it sooner if you need. We will stay here just another minute. With your next breath, if you're seated in the butterfly version, begin to walk your hands under your shoulders and slowly rise up with a little lift in your belly button as you rise to a seat. If you're laying back, gently guide your knees together. Now we'll all guide our knees together. And bring your feet a little bit wide as you gently windshield wiper your knees side to side, whether you're on your back or you're seated. And eventually come back to center. From here, if you're sitting on something, just start to roll off that and then extend your legs out long and lay on your back to join us on the back. Once you're on your back, side out. Ah. Feel that release. Notice any physical shifts in your body as you lay back. Notice any vibrations or any pulsations from your head down to your toes. This is the real work. As the energy flows from head to feet, feel that sensation. Washing down the body, clearing the energy meridian lines of the kidney and liver. With your next inhale, start to gently draw your knees in towards your chest and give your legs a nice hug as you gently rock side to side, massaging your back into your mat. And coming back to the middle, reach your left arm overhead and roll to your left side into fetal pose. As you rest on your side, just take a moment to breathe. And as you inhale, press your top hand into the ground to come all the way up to a seat. Now the next posture that we're going to explore is called the dragonfly. Now the dragonfly can be done seated, but it also can be done on the back, about the halfway point. Now from here, you're going to sit on a cushion once again, with the legs out in front. 
okay? And to an open V. Now from here, you're gonna take your pillows and stack them out in front. You're gonna eventually shift those pillows to one side to begin um, on one side of your choice. So let's shift the pillow over to the right, to the inside of your right leg. So sort of stack them quite uh, generously on top, but there shouldn't be any pressure on the knee itself. Now from here, you're gonna find a nice tall spine. And as you inhale, you're going to lengthen your chest. And as you exhale, turn towards the pillows on your right. On both hands on either side of your right leg. And find a nice lift in the chest. And then start to hinge at the right hip as you bring the arms on top of the pillow. Now you'll start to feel quite a stretch in the back of the right leg. And this is where you want to feel it. At any time, this is too much of a stretch for that right leg. You could always find a little bend in the knee, like so, and still have the pillow stacked next to your leg, inner leg. And this will focus more on the low back rather than the leg. Your choice here. Now, the other foot is quite relaxed and doesn't really feel a whole lot. It's just kind of staying still over there. Now, your gaze could be looking down or slightly past the pillows. And wherever that leg is, we'll start to feel sensation. Now gravity will start to round your back and let your head stack on top of your arms or your fists. Or if you'd like, you could simply look down without any support under the forehead, that's fine. The focus is on the leg. We're going to stay here for another two minutes. So it's going to feel quite um, intense after a little time. Always give your body permission to come up a little bit for less intensity or bending that leg to come out of it sooner. Now here, we're stimulating the energy meridian lines of the urinary bladder that run from your hip buttocks all the way down to the heel that is heavy on the ground. This urinary bladder meridian line is an acupressure pathway that runs through the body that allows for stimulation of the urinary bladder. Breathing into your back and into that leg. Breathing into your belly and into your upper back, just feeling it round. Feeling gravity. Gently draw your body deeper with time into the posture, a little deeper. Without pushing or pulling or forcing anything, simply allow it to be. Breathing. In this moment, remaining here for another 60 seconds. Just feel any other stretches, perhaps in the neck, that might be happening passively as your head softens down and your arm softens. Remaining here for another 30 seconds more. And with your next breath, begin to slowly transition out of the posture by walking your hands under your shoulders and slowly rising up and turn your torso to middle so you turn your chest to the center take a full breath lifting your chest maybe even looking up and as you exhale come back to your pillows and shift those pillows over to 
the other side, just to the inside of the left leg. Now again, the leg is just as it is, or you can find a little bend in the knee. It's up to you. Then with a nice tall spine, lengthen up the chest, and then turn your chest to the pillows and to the left leg. And begin to walk your fingertips forward until you feel your arms can rest on the pillows. You'll feel a nice stretch in that left leg as you lean a little bit into it and hinging at that left hip. Now the other leg is nice and relaxed and heavy. And then maybe begin to invite a little rounding in the back. Maybe you'll start to feel a little stretch in the right side of your neck as the chin starts to draw closer to the chest. Or you can keep your head upright gazing softly to the pillows and maybe to your left foot. Relax the upper thigh and feel your seat sit deeper into the pillow you're sitting on or the floor. Breathing into this first edge of stretch, breathing into this. As you find that first edge with time, we'll remain here for another two minutes for a total of three minutes. Know that at any time you can always back away a little and slowly re enter at any time. Make sure there's no sharp pain behind the leg. If you do need to bend the knee a little, feel free to do so. This will bring more of the focus on the lumbar spine rather than the leg. Breathe into your lower back, into your belly. Always coming back to the sensation. And if you need to adjust, please adjust. So you feel comfort in the discomfort of a dull, achy stretch. As you stimulate the urinary bladder energy meridian of this leg. Remaining here for another full minute more. Remaining here for another 30 seconds more. Finding stillness and calm with the breath. Now with your next breath, Begin to gently walk your hands under your shoulders and slowly rise your torso up. And then turn your chest to the middle. Place the pillows to the center. Fingertips beside you. Find a lift in your chest. Maybe even look up. And then come back to center. Now we'll explore the center version of Dragonfly. This can be done seated just as you are. Maybe with a little gentle bend in the knees, if you feel like you've had just enough stretch for the backs of the legs at this point, then the pillows will serve as support in front. Fingertips beside you find a lift in the chest, and then you're going to hinge up the hips to lean. And then once you've found that edge, then round your back. Let your arms rest the head. Maybe start to round more as the chin comes towards the chest. Now, if you have any disc issues in your back, my recommendation would be to come to the back version. Here, roll off of your pillow, draw your knees in towards your chest, tuck that small pillow underneath your bum, and bring your legs up in the air. 
open V with the legs, okay? And you can stay there with your legs up in the air if you want to find a version that doesn't create any flexion for the back or if you have any disc issues. That is my recommendation, okay? Otherwise, you're seated in Dragonfly. For this final version of Dragonfly, we'll be remaining here for a total of three minutes. That means another two for us now. This may be localized in the lumbar spine for you if your knees are quite bent, or you might feel it through the backs of both legs. Either way, allow to, your body to feel quite supported and weighted. Bring your awareness inward, deep inside. Connect to your breath, to this present path, this very moment as you breathe, as you arrive again and again to this moment. remaining here for another full minute. Try to find some stillness wherever you are, even if you're on your back. Maybe the hands can hold the outsides of your thighs or your hands could be on the insides of the thighs if your legs are up to create some weight for the legs, if you wish. Remaining here for another 30 seconds more. From here, if you're on your back, you can gently guide your legs together. Keep the legs up in the air. If you're seated, start to walk your hands under your shoulders. Slowly reverse the hinge with your chest rising up. If your legs are up in the air. You can gently place one foot and then the other foot on the ground and pause here. For those that are seated, place your pillows off to the side, hands on the backs of your knees, Gently guide your legs to center so they're parallel. And then scooch off of your pillow just by rolling off to the side and place your pillow to the side. For those that have something under the hips, remove that by pressing your feet into the ground and then slowly extend your legs out long and we'll all come to the back. As you come to the back, notice any physical shifts in your body. What is anything that might be happening? Scanning your body and noticing any vibrations or any pulsations. Taking a moment to breathe a little deeper and sigh out a little longer. <sighs> Allow your breath to be at its own natural rhythm as you gently bend your knees and draw your knees in towards your chest. Give a nice squeeze and gently rock side to side, massaging your back into your mat and breathe here. And eventually come back to center. Reach your right arm overhead. And let's roll to your right side into fetal pose. And then with your top hand, press into the ground and let's come up to a seat. Now the next posture we're gonna explore is called the toe squat, paired with ankle squat, which is a great counter posture after exploring toe squat. So the toe squat, just as it sounds, 
is a stretch for the toes. Now you're going to grab your pillow and you're going to kneel on your pillow in tabletop position to start. All right. And from here, you're going to, I'm just going to show you from this side. You're going to tuck all your toes under like that, including your baby toe. So even help your baby toe tuck under, both feet. And then you're going to start to kneel on your pillow like that. You'll start to feel a nice stretch for your toes, right? You feel a nice stretch for your toes and you're cool with that. You just let your hands rest onto your hips and stay there. Or you can take your second pillow and have a seat on it. This will uh, increase that stretch in the toes. Not the most favorite posture in the world, but it's really quite nice for your uh, uh, your Achilles as well as your plantar fasciitis on the soles of your feet, the fascia there. For anybody who has plantar fasciitis, it's actually quite healthy for the feet. Now again, if you're screaming from this and it's not good at all, if it's just dull and achy, that's fine. But if it's like, oh gosh, I don't like this at all, just kneel like this and feel the stretch where you need it. And we're just going to stay here for another full minute. So you can sit or you can kneel, hands on the hip. You might notice one foot's getting more stretched than the other. Maybe start to shift a little bit of weight to the one that's not feeling as much. And try to find that symmetry. Of course, either side, both sides are different. But one might have a little more of your attention than the other. All right. Okay, to have a little chuckle while you're in toe squat because that helps with distracting you from that sensation in the feet. Mm -hmm. All right, less than 30 seconds, all right. If you still feel like, oh, this is cool, I would like to just stretch my arms up, you can hold on to opposite forearms and let your head rest on your wrist. Yeah. Taking it in stride, breathing here in your toe squat. Mm. Yeah. All right, we're going to transition out of the toe squat. So if your arms are above, you can let your arms come down. Come to your tabletop again by coming forward. All right, I'm just going to shift here. You're still kneeling on your pillow. You're going to walk your knees off your pillow. You can even place it to the side. Other pillow is off to the side too. Just gently tap, tap, tap your toes behind. That. Tap, tap, tap. They'll feel like they're still curled under, but they'll eventually uncurl. So the tops of your feet will eventually tap, tap, tap onto the floor behind. Yeah, you can just really firmly. And then keeping your toes just as they are, the tops of your feet on the ground, you're going to begin to Take one pillow, have a seat. This might be your version of ankle uh, stretch. It will stretch the tops of your feet as you sit. Now, if that's quite not enough, you're like, oh, I don't really feel much. You can start to lift your knees kind of off the ground and just tense your fingertips behind you. This will ooh, stretch the tops of your feet real good. Breathing into this. And if you want a little more, to walk your hands up to your knees and maybe you're holding on to your thighs or your knees it's quite an intense version of ankle stretch yeah good take another full breath here another full empty it's a bit of a balance pose when you're holding your thighs and then slowly lower your knees down if you're up and then remove the pillow and place it underneath your legs, both pillows, and make your way to your back. Just shifting your bum forward a little bit so the backs of the knees are on your pillow, and slowly lower down onto your back. Now this will elevate your feet a little, so you can start to make little movements with your toes, maybe some circles in one direction, circles in the other direction just go at whatever 
your ankles want to go. They want to alternate. They want to be shaken out a little bit. Inside, outside, just let them move a little bit. And then find stillness. And then take a deep breath here. You're still on your back, nice and relaxed. And ah, side out. And just let the legs be quite heavy on the pillow. Just notice how your body feels here, physically. Breathing here. Notice any vibrations or any pulsations. Breathing. Notice any shifts. With your next breath, we'll gently draw your knees in towards your chest. Give them a nice squeeze. And gently rock side to side, massaging your back into your mat. And eventually come back to center. Reach your left arm overhead and roll to your left side into fetal pose. And then your fetal pose. Top hand presses into the ground, coming up to a seat to prepare for our next postures, which will be our sphinx or seal pose. Now with sphinx or seal, you start off with a pillow under your belly. I recommend starting off in tabletop so that you can lower your fronts of your hips on top of your pillow and let your elbows come to the ground, palms face down. Now the elbows are just in front of your chest and you're gonna tuck your back toes under so that you can slide your knees back a little bit and then untuck your toes. Elbows are heavy, heart lengthens forward, and your palms are flat on the ground. Now the neck is long, gazing down or gazing to your thumbs. Now if this is too much stretch here for your lower back or if there's any discomfort, like any pain in the lower back, I recommend bring your elbows out in front more or you can even sandwich your hands under the head to just release it completely at any time. The full focus of this is a stretch in the front of your belly, as well as the compression in your lower back. You do wanna feel a little something in the lower back, but no pain. It's almost like a dull compression. Now, if you feel like you're losing um, any sensation in this, if you'd like to come into it deeper, you can find seal pose. A seal pose, the thumbs point to the front of your mat, fingers are out diagonal, and you're going to press into the floor to lift your elbows up, walk the hands closer to you so that you feel that traction on your mat, your hands, and your heart lengthens forward, your legs are relaxed behind you, you're feeling lots of weight down into the pillow with your hips, especially the front of your hips. Now this creates a lot of compression in the lower back. If it feels okay, then stay just as it is. Or you can walk your hands even closer for even more of a back bend. Chest lifts, maybe even your gaze lifts, but the back of the neck is still long. You might even feel a little stretch in the front of your throat. If this still feels okay, please stay here and seal. Or you can always come to the elbows for sphinx, palm face down. If you're in Sphinx, but you'd like a little more intensity, but don't like seal, you can always bend your knees so that the feet are floating up to the sky. Maybe then both feet come together just as a, some support so that the feet know that they're up. <laughs> and your gaze can be down. Breathing into your belly. Just notice how you feel here. I'm going to stay in this posture for another three minutes, for a total of five minutes. Notice that at any time, if you are in Sphinx and you'd like your head supported, you can bend your elbows and hold your head like this, letting your head be cradled in your hands.
and breathe into your belly. Maybe even your hands come underneath your chin like this. Just keep position like that. If you're watching TV when you were a teenager. Yeah. But find stillness. Breathing into your belly. Feel the dull, achy stretch on the front of your thighs and belly. So this stimulates the energy meridian of the stomach and the spleen that run across the fronts of your thighs, from your hip crests all the way down your knees. If you're in seal and you like to add the knee bend, and you like more intensity, you can bend your knees as well. You'll feel a nice stretch in the front of your thighs, a little deeper. Just let your feet kind of float there. Maybe the feet come together. And remain here for the final minute, wherever you are. Know that at any time, you can always come out of the pose, as I said before, by stacking your hands under your forehead and just releasing all of them, the legs and the arms. You never have to stay in a position for the entire time. But it is the challenge to stay, as long as it doesn't cause any pain. This is a practice of marinating in discomfort for just a little while knowing that you will be coming out of it soon in 30 seconds. It's a lot of mind training too, and again, being able to be in that spot of discomfort, finding some comfort, knowing you will be out of it soon. Breathing into the sensation. And with your next breath, if you are in seal, start to lower your elbows down and lower your legs down if your knees are bent. Widen your elbows and sandwich your hands under your forehead. And gently bend both knees wherever you are. And windshield wiper your, your feet side to side, just releasing that. Bring your feet back to center. Walk your hands under your shoulders. Tuck your toes under and press up to tabletop. Shift your pillow slightly in front so that you can bring your legs on top so the backs of your knees are supported by your pillow. Slowly come to your back. Once you're on your back, side out. <sighs> Just notice how you feel on your back. Staying on your back, the energy flows freely from head to feet now, down the energy meridian lines of the stomach and spleen. Notice any vibrations or pulsations, and sigh out whenever you like. <sighs> Couple more breaths where you are. And then when you're ready, gently bend your knees. And windshield wiper your knees side to side on your back. And eventually bring your knees to middle. Hug your knees in towards your chest. You can gently rock side to side, massaging your back into your mat. Coming back to center, reach your left arm overhead, roll to your left side into fetal pose. Pause there. With your next inhale, press your top hand into the ground and come up to a seat. 
Now the next posture, which is a great posture to, to follow Sphinx or vice versa, they're great pair of postures to follow or to um, come before. This one here is sleeping frog. So with sleeping frog, I recommend grabbing your blanket, and making it nice and long. So it's about three quarters down your mat, and it's gonna cushion your knees. So it's very long, but yet it's enough cushion so that you can kneel on it. So you're going to have your pillows out in front. Now these pillows are very versatile in the fact that you can always fold this pillow towards you and let your head rest on this second pillow. But before you do that, you're in tabletop and you're going to slide your knees nice and wide until you feel a groin stretch. And now your knees are just in front of the heels and your toes are flexed out to the side like you're a frog in a leaping contest, yeah? So you're gonna breathe here until you feel that stretch in the groin. Don't go too far, but just that first edge. And then you're gonna start to lower your belly and chest onto the pillows. If this is too low at this point, you'll know. You can fold the top pillow so it's under your abdomen. Tuck it under and let your elbows land on the ground. Now you can turn your head to one direction, letting the chin just tuck in a little. If this is still too low, you can always grab that second or the uh, small pillow, just place it on top. Maybe even let your forehead rest on it. And that might be enough, okay? Again, you can always come up all the way with your arms locked. This might be enough stretch for the groin. If you want less stretch, the chest comes forward. If you want more stretch, the hips go back, and then you don't need too much of a shift back to really feel something here, okay? Once you've found that edge, maybe even you want the elbows on the second, the second pillow. It's up to you. You can even approach it the same way as Sphinx, by bringing your fists just underneath your head or hands under the head. If your head is turned to one direction, at the halfway point, in about two minutes, I'll invite you to turn your head the opposite direction, okay? So again, it's not about how it looks, it's about how it feels, and where you wanna feel it is in the inner groin to stimulate the liver and the kidney energy meridian, just as you did with butterfly. But this is quite intense. It gets really deep into the hip sockets. Breathing into your back, breathing into your belly, your solar plexus, where there's a lot of so-called negative emotions. You know that the sleeping frog can really allow some of those emotions to surface so you can watch them and witness them, not necessarily react to those. Watching them like, like in a movie, you're watching a film of your emotions just passing by, let it dissolve and come back to the sensation and to your breath. Always returning to the breath. Now from here, if your head is turned to one direction or you're feeling like to just shift a little bit the head, maybe your fist is was on one cheek, you're gonna just shift to the other elbow or turn the head. And we'll remain here for another two minutes in your sleeping frog, know that this does get quite intense. So you can always come out of it sooner if you need to come to tabletop and find child's pose if you need. But if this is quite okay and you just simply feel some sensation, just let your body marinate in that discomfort. 
coming back to your breathing, to the sensation, marinating in this, and watching the breath flow in and out of the belly, upper back, shoulders soft, head and neck soft, breathing. Remaining here for another full minute more. Another 30 seconds more. With your next breath, you begin to slowly transition out of frog by walking your hands under your shoulder. As you inhale, press up so your chest rises up. Bring one knee to the middle, other knee to the middle. Gently rock your hips side to side. Yeah. And then you're going to roll your pillows off to the side just for a moment so that you can come all the way to your belly. Remove that other third pillow. And sandwich your hands under your forehead and just side out. Oh. Let your knees bend and swoosh your feet side to side. Oh, releasing that. Mm -hmm. And then come back to the center, bring your feet to the ground, hands under your shoulders. Inhale, press up to table. Walk your knees off of the blanket, place that blanket to the side. You might use that as a little pillow under your head. And have that standard pillow under your legs. You're going to make your way to your back, but slowly, no rush to get there. Once you get to your back, maybe that blanket's under your head, or you can slowly lower down. Once you're on your back, we're just going to stay here for a little longer because it was a longer health posture. You could just, ah, just groan it out. Oh, it feels good. Just feel the energy flow from head down to your feet. Feel that physical vibration. Any shifts of the legs and the feet are just very heavy and relaxed. Take another moment on your back to just scan arms, torso, hips, calves, heels. Notice the symmetry in your body. Left and right side, breathing here. And side out, ah. When you're ready, and gently draw one knee and then the other in towards your chest. Give your legs a little squeeze. And gently rock side to side on your back, breathing into your back body. And eventually coming back to center. Now reaching your left arm overhead. Roll to your left side into fetal pose. Take a moment on your side. Just notice this transition. And then as you inhale, press your top hand into the ground to come up to your seat to prepare for our next posture in squat. Again, a focus on the hips. 
Now with this pillow, let's have a seat on it first. If you're familiar with the squat we did last week and you really like that one where you stand on your feet for that one, you can stay there. Or you can sit on a pillow with your feet on the ground, start to draw your feet towards you, but you're holding onto your shins and the squat focuses on the inner groin as you start to maybe round your chin and towards your chest. This might be enough of the squat for you today. But if you'd like to stand on the feet, you can bring your heels onto the pillow instead of your bum. The toes are turned out the same way as your knees, and your heel could be on one or two pillows, okay? And you're sitting your bum down into the pillow. Now, if you have two pillows, you might be just sitting on both pillows, and bring your elbows to the insides of your knees, and lift your heart to your thumbs, and you'll feel a nice stretch here also for your lower back as well. As your hips sink down, Maybe your back rounds, begins to round, or you can keep your chest upright if you have any disc issues, okay? You're rounding your back here. You can bring your hands down and just start to bring the chin to round into the chest. And as you arrive, breathe into your back. Feel that neck relax. And the head relax into the chest. Maybe even shifting some of the weight into the hands a little bit, as well as the feet. And this should feel really good. If it doesn't, you know that you have the option to sit on the pillows for less intensity. For more intensity, you'll feel that stretch. Maybe even some compression in the front of your, uh, your feet through the front of your ankles, maybe even a nice stretch in the Achilles, behind your heel. Just as we did in the sleeping frog, we're going to stay in this symmetrical pose for a good five minutes. Looks like gravity do its work. Feel that back round, or again, that chest lift to the thumbs and the hips sink down into the direction of the pillow. We'll remain here for another four full minutes. Bring your awareness inside. Always returning to the breath. Notice the breath deepen at times. Notice the breath be soft at times. Finding that stillness and marinating in the posture. Watching and witnessing thoughts that pass by. And bring yourself back to your breath flowing in and out, rising and falling, softening and weighing down into gravity inward.
remaining here for another 60 seconds more. And with your next breath, you're quite deep in the posture with your hands on your mat. And begin to slowly walk your hands towards you, bring the palms together and heart lifts to your chest. From here, if your feet are flat on the ground and your weight is on the feet, start to shift forward to your tabletop first and cross your ankles. And have a seat to join us. With your legs out in front, feet and knees are wide. Now from here as you sit, I'm just going to start to walk your feet closer together, extend your legs, and windshield wiper your feet side to side, get rid of anything that got stuck here, and start to slide off your pillows. Place a pillow under your legs and another pillow under the head. Maybe your blanket was back there, you can just place it beside you and slowly make your way onto your back once again. As you slowly make your way onto your back, notice any physical shifts that might have happened here. That's okay. Just to, as it is. Ah, oh, and side out. Ah. Oh. Just feel your head supported by the pillow the leg supported by the pillow and ah, side out some more as you feel your back body supported on the ground, scanning your body, noticing vibrations or pulsations in this transition pose. As you lay on the back, Now from here, we're going to remain on the back for the next postures, which will be the twisted root or simple reclining twist. Now from here, the pillow that's under your knees, you can shift it over to the right side of you. Your pillow can still remain under the head or you can simply shift the pillow off to the side as you lay on your back. Now from your back, reach your arms overhead and find a long body stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Notice the body. You're stretching nice and long. And then bring your arms beside you, creating that space between each vertebrae. Now from here, gently bend your knees and hug your knees in towards your chest while you're on your back. Gently rock side to side, just massaging your back into your mat. And eventually come back to center. I'll bring both feet flat on the ground, knees are bent, and shift your hips a little bit to the left, cross your left leg around your right, and let the knees drift to the pillow on your right. Now, if this is too much stretch for your hips or your back, uncross the legs and you can simply stack the knees together into a simple reclining twist. Now, once you are nice and comfortable in your twist. Your arms can be wherever you'd like them to be. They could be out to the sides with the elbows bent or maybe they're by your sides. Maybe your left arm which is behind and rests the upper arm onto your pillow as you shift your gaze to the ceiling. Now, however you'd like, you could even take that upper arm and place it under the pillow if you wish for more stretch in the armpit and across the back body. The gaze could shift a little to your left, even more. 
Now finding that first edge of your stretch of this twisted root, your twisted root, send breath to your belly and your rib cage and feel that stretch across the chest and in to that top hip. And that dull achy stretch that happens across the chest, maybe in through the arm if you're stretching your arm. In your twisted root will remain for a couple more minutes. Just watching and waiting. Marinating in the twisted root. Watching the breath flow into your nose, into your belly and ribs. And witness it deflate the belly the chest, all the way out. Continue here for another full minute. With your next breath, if your arm was above, bring it beside you once again. And start to return your head and your knees back to center, wherever you are. Uncross the legs, if your legs are crossed, and center your hips. Then take the pillow and shift it over to the left side of you. We're going to explore the second side here. Shifting your hips over to your right, cross your right leg over your left, and let the knees drift to the pillow on your left. Again, the back body is on the ground. And here the arms can be wherever you'd like them to be, as long as the shoulders are nice and weighted and into your mat. Your gaze could be to the ceiling or slightly to the direction away from the pillow. Breathing into your belly and ribs in your twist. Breathing in and out. Feel that dull, achy stretch in the top hip. Across the right side of your chest. Remaining here in your twist for another couple minutes. Breathing. Feel gravity holding the feet and arms sinking. Again, this is very passive. No need to force anything. Just allow it to be just as it is. This perfect moment, this only moment, washing away any tension that remains, washing away any stories that don't serve a positive path. Washing away any stories that don't serve your positive path. Always returning to the breath. Breathing. A soft breath. Watching and witnessing.
remaining here for another 30 seconds more. And with your next breath, we'll gently guide your head and your knees back to center. Uncross your legs and center your hips. And then hug both knees in towards your chest. Give it a nice squeeze. And gently rock side to side, massaging your back into your mat. Breathing into your back. And coming back to center, we'll find happy baby from here on the back. As you shine your feet up to the sky, you either hold the backs of the knees or edges of your feet and feel the weight of your hands and your arms on the feet. Simply the weight without pushing or pulling, feel the weight of the hands on the edges of your feet or backs of your knees. You can start off with a little gentle rock side to side, but eventually we want to find middle and stay still in the center. This is a little bit of work for the biceps as well. Know that we won't be staying in this for very long, just like we did in toe squat. It will be a very short holding of your happy baby in stillness. It's like a reverse squat. There's lots of traction here in the pelvis as well. And some traction in your middle back as you find your breath. Once again, in center. Breathing into your back. Feel the hips heavy into the direction of the ground. With some lightness and buoyancy in the front body and in the feet. You know that at any time you can always let go of the feet and hold the backs of the knees at any time. One more minute remaining here in this happy baby. With your next breath, if you have your feet, you can gently slide your hands down to the backs of your knees. And gently guide your knees to center and then hug your knees in towards your chest. Gently rock side to side, massaging your back into your mats. And come back to center. And here, slowly release your legs to the ground. Extend your legs out long and then reach your arms overhead. Find a long body stretch once again and maybe interlace the fingers and press the palms to the back of the room and point your toes and breathe into the stretch. And then bring your hands beside you, hands on your belly. And take a soft belly breath. And a soft. Now I invite you to begin to 
ask yourself how you would like your final relaxation to look and feel. And as you find space as well as props to support your final Shavasana, just have Alicia turn all the videos off. I'm not going to touch my screen in case it triggers any freezing of the recording. So all of your videos will be turned off and audio has already been turned off so that you can enjoy your privacy here. Pillow under your knees, maybe a blanket over your body, maybe the scarf over your eyes to block out light and a pillow under your head. Once you've found your final relaxation pose, just nestle in, you can shift and move as you need. Maybe even allow the tip of your tongue to just rest behind the, the top row of teeth and just allow for your breath to be easy, your eyes to dim. And the face and jaw dissolve and soften. The arms and the legs are heavy. And here for the next few minutes, allowing the earth to receive your body now. In stillness, calm and quiet. And receive. Now beginning to deepen your breath, bringing gentle movements to your fingers and to your toes, and gently rocking your head side to side, awakening your body to more movement, maybe reaching your arms overhead to find a long body stretch, long body stretch. Gently bending your knees and rolling to your right side into fetal pose, cradling your head with your arm. And with your next inhale, press your top hand into the ground. Slowly come up to a comfortable seat facing front. And bring your palms together. Gaze is low. Take a deep breath into your back and clear it away. Bring your thumbs to your forehead in gratitude for yourself, your practice. 
thumbs to your lips in gratitude for the support of those that surround you and thumbs to your heart center. Sealing our practice with the sound of Om. All the breath out first and a full breath in. Namaste, everyone. Namaste. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for your practice. Thank you. Stop the recording and I'll